Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. I got a rookie holding the camera. Come closer a little bit. Okay, now, the longhouse, just turn around quick, show, show the longhouse. Okay, that's it, enough. So it's, uh, the teepees are gonna be gone. The longhouse in Fredericton is officially over. It's been quite an experience, but I own uh, an apology to the David Alward government, and I own an apology to the organizers that had the event at the Delta yesterday. They was for petrol and mining industries. They were all there, but I own them an apology. I'm going to get to that in a second. What's happening here, the shale gas issue, they're all covered by different people. Everybody has their Facebook, everybody got their Twitter, everybody, no, you imagine everybody thinks that everybody's reading their own wall. Like that guy across the river that said, uh, stood up at a meeting. I have 5,000 friends on my Facebook. Uh, you know, come on, come on, 5,000 friends? I mean, I got three friends, me, myself, and I, and I love it that way. So anyway, <laughs> You have, here in New Brunswick, journalists. We have Irving employees. He owns all the newspapers in this province. Everybody has the same way of thinking when you work for Irving. Oh, sorry. So, then you have independent journalists. Voila. And I'm in Fredericton. I mean, some people will say I'm not a journalist. Some people say well, I'm just a nut with a camera. But you don't have to read my blog, like I don't have to read other people's Facebook. <laughs> but anyway, so turn around. Yesterday, it was hectic here. There was cops, there were, I was tired. I was very stressed out. There was too many people. I talk a lot, can you imagine that? But anyway, so I just turned around, I went to buy myself a case of beer, and I relaxed last night, I had to settle my nerves. Now, what happened that really, I have to apologize, they were at the Delta, the event for the petrol and uh, oil industries. They had a big event. So last year, I didn't want to go there, but I walked there, me and a the girl. I was tired, tired, tired. I arrived in there, the natives and the white people were inside the event. And what happened, oh, TPs are going down, poles are going all over the place. So anyway, they were in the hallway and the police were there and uh, the security were there to stop the protesters from going inside. I'll make a long story short, I applied for a media pass. Guess what? I showed up, they were like this, the registration office, boot. Last year I applied, they wouldn't give it to me and a lot of people were upset. They were really moving in the back room when I applied for, for the media pass. So what happened is, they bought me in the back, they gave me the media pass, they said, here Charles, it's okay, enjoy your, just to, you know, watch what's going on. So I went inside, once the cops saw me inside, and the protesters was in front of the cops, and turned back, what the hell, how did I get in there? Hmm. I had a media pass. So I went around, it was good, some exhibition, I didn't have my glasses, and I mean, uh, I have ADHD, I cannot turn around and read everything, that's every boot. There was maybe 100 to 150 boots, there was even a lawyer there, I don't know why. So I turn around, people were looking at me, and I don't know why, what is he doing here? So I left. Me and the girl, we laugh, we start walking on Woodstock Road. What do I see on Woodstock Road? Journalist Miles Howe walking toward me. He was walking alone. And Miles Howe is a journalist for Media Co-op. And he's been embedded with the protesters all summer long. So I turned, I was tired, so I turned around he said he was going to the Delta. I said, well, maybe he could cover the event. You know, get some stuff. I gave him my media pass. And I said, here, you can get inside. So I got home. Oh, show that, show that, show that, show that. So, okay. So I got home. 
And then I receive an email asking me if it's true that by any chance that I give my media pass to someone. And I guess Miles Howe went inside with my media pass and he caused a disturbance. Now, I'm not angry with Miles, but I'm disappointed. I think the word is disappointed. Once you cover an issue, you cannot let emotion take, take over your question. I seen Miles in action. It's pretty hardcore. He's direct. And I, of course, I got my own style too. Like me, I, I see the premier. And then I give, I, I go, and then I, boom, give him a punch in the head. I go, and then, you know, like I, it's, it's like a dance. I'm in Fredericton. I have to play both field. I can't go to the premier and say, listen, you fucking asshole. I mean, I can't do that. I mean, I'm trying, I, I live in this city, so I'm trying to be open. Now, I'm very disappointed that Miles Howe, I made a mistake, I apologize. Yes, I give, I should have never give my media pass to Miles. I apologize to the organizers, to the organizers of the event at the Delta. It's not the people's fault that weren't there. I apologize, it's my fault. Uh, in the future, if I receive a media pass for any event, lesson well learned, don't share your media pass, especially in New Brunswick when you have independent journalists that has different way of thinking and you don't know what they're gonna do. So once again, I apologize to the David Howard government, I apologize to the officials at the Delta that organized that event and I'm truly sorry.